Hello everybody and welcome back to Shamrock Valley. So today is going to be the final day of sorting out this silage pit. In fact, it's just going to be a few more minutes hopefully. The uh, the fear was continuing for quite a while after the previous video and I did join in with the class telehandler which is part just there. I actually used the bucket to scoop some of this massive pile that's here to the back. Obviously it's still not good but it is now 100% compacted and it can be covered over. So without any further ado, let's just push this final layer of chaff from the front here into the back and then we're going to put a cover over it. After this we need to start the harvest which is going to be hopefully um, yeah, no more than two episodes long. So all I'm doing is just pushing it up. Basically anything which goes out beyond the front of the pit there needs to be moved because otherwise it's just going to be left as chaff and it won't actually ferment. So it's very important we do this. If we don't do it then well we're just left with a pile of chaff basically. As you'll probably know by now, I have done that many times before and I don't want the final clamp that I do in 17 to look like that, it would be really bad. So we're going to do a proper finish here. Obviously it's not perfectly compacted, it is, it's classed as 100%, but yeah, it's not. It's, um, it's, it's like a hill over there at the back, it, massive hills. It wants to be fairly, well in fact it does, it wants to be level, but with a slight gradient going up, if you know what I mean. Maybe a slight contradiction there. Smooth but a gentle incline. So yeah, we'll just keep going with this, we'll keep putting it back over here, driving over it. Uh, the thing is, when you pick up the chaff, even if it's 100% compacted, you have to then compact it again. It will knock it down a bit, as you can see here. It is 99%. And every time I reverse out, it's going to push a little bit more out. As for the corner, I don't know how we're going to do that. Just, it needs to look half decent, basically. It's a bit of a shame we have to drive back on it, because that is what makes it come back out again. Otherwise I could just boom out like this and drop it. Anyway, I'll very quickly get this done. Okay, so it looks like we can't get this piece out of the corner here. We'd have to have some form of bunker cleaner, which I don't have. When I put this back into there, it might get back down to 99% or maybe 98 Um But yeah, that is the majority of this now done. 98, wow, it did go down. Um, yes, it's it's now looking worse than it did before, but even so, it's going to be 285,000 litres of fermented silage. I think we'll just say, don't judge a book by its cover. Uh, so yeah, don't judge my silage pit by what it looks like. By the blanket, I suppose. Okay. So that is 100% done. If I can get off here without pushing any more out there, we can put a cover over, and it should look good. There we go. Right, so everything, except for this, is now fermenting. Right, so what we're going to do is jump into the combine harvest, which is just there. It's been parked up since the previous summer, or the previous autumn. We're going to go down to Finima 9 and 12, which is oilseed rape, and then tomorrow, in the final episode, we're going to go to Finima 37, which is, I think it's wheat or barley or something, I'm not too sure what I put in but it's not oilseed rape. Okay, it's oilseed rape. So before we can start, I can see maintenance is required, which is a bit of an issue. Uh, it's just going to take a few minutes to do. A quick service on it, and then it'll be all right. I've also noticed we have the uh, hectare counter, which is showing 3.47 hectares. For this year, we need to reset it. So left control and R, there we go. So we've got a total and current. Current now being zero. Which is good. That's where it wants to be. I might have to go out of this door. In fact, we'll shut this door here. There we go. One opens and one closes. We've made it out of there. So what we're going to do is drop the trailer off because otherwise it's going to be quite tricky to navigate this thing into the workshop. It will also probably try and maintain the header instead of the combine harvester. Uh, good repair... £861. We're going to have to get together our trailer. I think we still have the Larrington trailer, which is a very nice trailer to use. So that's what we can cart with. And of course, we're going to sell it straight off the field since this is almost the end of the series. Right, we're hitched back on. Let's go. This is going to be a bit of a slow journey, I'd have thought, since we have to go the back way. Let me just remember where we go. We turn right just beyond the fuel station go through the forest if I haven't left everything on the road which I don't think I have done 
because uh, that would be very messy. And then we drop down into those two fields. If we get time tomorrow, we'll also sell the wall, because there are four or five pallets just stacking up there. Potential money. Not that it really matters though at this stage, which is unfortunate. Um, as much as I can't wait for FS19 to come out, it's, it's sad really uh, that it is the end, because I've always carried the money over, and this potential money would be used to buy the new farm, but of course that's not going to happen. On the plus side, we do get FS19, which is a big plus. Okay, so the forest is just up here. We turn left at the next junction. If we were to go straight on, we would actually get to the edge of the map. So we don't want to go straight on. We need to go left here. This is where we were doing all the wood chips and all that sort of stuff. It was all great fun. I'd love to do it again, but we'll have to do it in FS19, I suppose. I'm going to say this again because I know that I get the question quite a bit. Um, well, I still, I still get the question an awful lot. I get people saying, what are you going to do for the final episode of FS17? Well, I'm not finishing. Not yet, anyway. Um, we need to do the Letton Farm series. So that's going to continue on for a while. Probably at least a month. Um, so, yeah, that's going to keep going. And then we'll somehow blend 17 into 19. Make a nice merge. And that can be, like, the final goodbye to 17. But, yeah, it's not going to go when 19 is released. Not for my channel. I thought it was going to up until a few weeks ago. But I've realised the Letton Farm series is in, in such a good position now. I can't abandon it. If I was to abandon it I think I'd let myself down and I'd let my viewers down and it would just wreck the series. So Letton Farm on 17 is staying for the time being until I can transition it to 19. That view never gets old. That is such a good view. Okay, so you can see our two fields. There is the very small one down the bottom, which we might do first of all, and then we've got the big one. Uh, yeah, we'll do the small one first. Make it easy for ourselves. Luckily, I don't think we're going to have much carting to do, since it is Aussie Rape. It is going to be quite profitable, but at the same time, it doesn't produce as much grain as, for example, wheat. So this is the big field we can cut through here to the small field. Hopefully I've left a big enough headland, although actually I didn't. Okay. And we do have crop destruction, don't we? Don't we? I think something is out of date. I've got something out of date because otherwise that would have crushed that crop. It's crushing the grass, but not the crop itself, which is interesting. Okay, so yeah, there is a very low piece of the hedge just here where you can just drive through. And we're going to get the header put on, obviously. And we'll start. Oh yeah, headers do have the tendency to get stuck to hedges. It is a feature of the hedge to stop headers and bales. Ah, there is a road just here. It's the same road that goes around the top. Right, um, if I just park this somewhere out the way... Uh, let's just see. Probably just over here. If the hedge doesn't catch the trailer... There we go. Right, let's begin. I did have the idea of doing the final episode as a live stream. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Probably not, but it is uh, something which I'm certainly considering. The thing is, midweek, it's, it's always quite difficult for me to get the time to do it. To be able to make a stream, or to be able to do a stream. Right, so that's filling up nicely. Let's get this first field done. Do you think we're going to fit it all in? Looking at the fill rate, I would say we are going to. Yeah, I'll say so. What do you think, though? I'm going to say we'll be about 80% full.
the final part of the field and we are on 65% so no we didn't get the 80% which I thought which is a shame oh well we have another big field just here to do so I suppose the obvious place to start is just here if we can get through with the header yep um, yeah I think with the collision and headers and bales and stuff it's not always possible to get through right so we should be on 80% in no time now if I can get back to the gate, that would be handy. Because uh, then we've got somewhere to pull in with the tractor and trailer and then park up. But, yeah, we've only got 30% left. Space left in the tank, so it might be a bit of a challenge. We've got to go all the way around the top there. To get over there. 25%. It might happen. It might be spot on, we'll see. Hopefully it is. It will be very handy if we do get to the gate. That's the 80% that I thought we'd get from the one field. That was probably a bit too optimistic. It wasn't a very big field. 85%, 15%. Yeah, we should make it with 15% space. It's getting tense. <laughs> 90%. There we go. Yeah, it's going to be very close. We're not going to make it. 98%. Oh well, it was still good. So, there we go. It's a full load. Let's put the auger out in readiness, in preparation for the tractor and trailer. I'll turn the engine off and we will go and get it. Currently, we are attached to the Bailey trailer, which is a very nice trailer. Unfortunately, we can't use it because it is the silage version. Um, it's just way too tall. And obviously we couldn't fill it up to the top with grain. So we're going to have to use the Larrington, which is still a very good trailer. In fact, I'd probably rate them the same. I think they're both very good. Uh, I think I left it in here. Although, did I sell it? Maybe I sold it. Oh no, it's up at the top yard. In that case, we'll drive over there and get it. I must have left it in the machinery shed. I had to guess that's where it is. Uh, we'll soon find out. Somewhere up here. Oh, I love that thing. The three... No, the uh, 180 loader, I think it is. Uh, right, there it is, yeah. Again, the pallet hole over there. And the pallet production. Something I've always loved about the add-on in 17... Um, it's just fantastic. So I don't, I don't want it to, I don't want it to go. I want to have it in 19 too. Maybe it will be transferred. Who knows? Or maybe it will be compatible. That'd be even better if you could just install it to 19 instead. Um, obviously, they have to do some modifications and stuff. But I don't know. It would be so good to have it in 19. Overall, I left it fairly neat in here. We have uh, the log grab just there casually sitting in the woods, but yeah, everything else has been tidied up. That's where we did the uh, chipping, I think. Yep, looking alright. Okay, so, over to the common harvester. I love how you can just see the, the waves from the sea through the trees. A very nice view to have. And here we are. So yeah, unfortunately, we don't have a cut through, but for whatever reason, the uh, crop destruction isn't working on this crop. I have always had a problem with it, so I think I've either got it out of date or some other reason. It won't be anything uh, too serious. Oh, is that the hedge? Might have clipped a tree. There we go. Good, yeah, so we've got a really large capacity trailer there. I can't see any reason why we wouldn't fit this into this whole field into this one trailer. Yeah, I'd have thought so. But then again, I've been wrong quite a bit. So <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. Chances are, though, it's going to fit in there fine. Almost finished. Has filled up quite a bit, though, hasn't it? It's, it's like 50% or something. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, it might fill it then. I think I'll just say, I don't know. We'll wait and see. It's always the safest option. 
Okay, so first or third person view. Hmm, for a time lapse it's always a tricky one. I would say third person, but on a hill, the camera is always adjusting like this. I always like to keep the camera still. Uh, it always makes for a better time lapse, but then, yeah, if it keeps moving on its own, it's going to be tricky. Shut the gate, otherwise we're going to have, uh, well, a broken combine and also some gate fed into the combine. Which would be really weird and unpleasant. Right, off we go. Okay, so we've almost finished the field. It really didn't take too long, and we haven't fit it in the trailer, I don't think, although it is very close. We've ju got just about enough uh, to start another trailer. But that's fine. That's all good. So what we're going to do is just make sure I've done everything. There is a tiny piece just there. But it was on the uh, GPS most of the time, and it did work very well. So, yeah, I think most of it has been covered, it looks like it has, yeah, it's, it's, oh no, there's a tiny bit over there, I probably should go back for it, otherwise, yeah, it's just going to be, uh, it's just going to look bad, really, and it's a waste of money, because we've, we've paid to have this field fertilised with our green manure, and we've also paid for the seed and the diesel, and the tractor which put the seed in, it would just be a waste, and actually that is a bigger section than I thought it was going to be, so there we go, we're done, nice. Uh, yes, that is everything. Let's unload, see how much we can fit in there. Chances are, though, not a great deal. I think it is pretty much full. Okay, here goes. The funny thing is, as well, um, for some reason, my tractor, or combine, whatever it is I'm driving, when I'm on a hill, it does roll, so I should probably have um, the handbrake mod installed. Or something similar. Drive control. Uh, yeah. Anyway. That is actually doing well. Do you think it's going to fit? I don't think it will. I think it's going to leave like 200 litres. Oh, 573. And that is the first full trailer from 1.89 1 hectares. And we have another 9% left. So we're going to have to come back for it. Unless we do keep it in there for the next day. I suppose we could do. Um, yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea actually. Because we're going to do the same crop tomorrow. So... If I just lower this down here, switch the engine off, we'll drive over to the sell point, the place with the best price. I don't know where that is going to be. It looks like it's going to be Balamori Stores. 992, yeah. So where is Balamori Stores? It's right down the bottom. Most likely at the port. I'm in that sticky situation again. Stuck on a branch. Uh, if we can go behind the combine, then that will be easier. But no, I've just... I've snookered myself. This isn't good. Try and get out of here. There we go. Okay, so I see you 
when we go down the road towards the store. Okay, right. So as long as I don't go wrong, I think we go right at the roundabout. And from there, it isn't actually too far. From what I can remember, it's just over there at the port. While I'm playing this game, I'm actually watching a video. I'm watching the live stream for Farming Simulator 19. Um, you probably actually noticed in the combining video, when I was doing the combining, I was not paying attention fully. I was busy watching the video and on the odd occasion I sort of drifted off course a bit. Luckily GPS was there to help. Very useful. Uh, so I think this is the uh, the Balamori store. Yeah, it is, yeah. So we'll put it into here and we should get a fairly good price for this. Hopefully, I don't know, £18,000? Maybe seventeen. That's still good though. Right, so there we go. It is 21. Clearly, I didn't look and see how much we actually had in the trailer. Uh, otherwise, yes, my calculation would have been a bit more accurate. Anyway, we're going to leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching. That was the penultimate episode. Tomorrow is the final episode. And onward and upward from there. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.